once more the gods are choosing champions. Since the time of Homer, the Olympians have forsworn meddling in the affairs of mortals. Even a century ago, in Greece's darkest hour, when three hundred mortals stood defiant against the Persian god-king Xerxes, the Olympic gods remained aloof in their mountain home. Yet, in every polis, the Olympian gods are selecting mortals to be their champions. Each god has their own preferences. Zeus picks the strongest and most courageous. The vigilant Hecate favours those who seek to protect others. While Ares chooses warriors who seek glory in the chaos and destruction of war. The mortals come from all walks of life. Anyone can be a champion, but why do the gods need heroes? There are omens everywhere, and the oracles spout doom-laden riddles. Mighty Sparta has been humbled by the slaves it once ruled. And in democratic Athens, thinkers question the very nature of the universe. Beyond its borders, other forces threaten Greece. Rome rules the Italian peninsula. To the west, Carthage dominates the seas. And in east, the immense Persian Empire is overwhelming Greek colonies. But there is something else wrong, a peril beyond the mortal world. The Olympians themselves are in danger. The bonds holding the Titans prisoner in Tartarus are weakening. Agents are being recruited to the Titans' cause. Only with mortal champions of their own can the Olympians prevent a new Titanomachy. But Olympian politics is a maze of petty rivalries and ancient grudges, any of which may spell disaster for an unwary hero. The gods are short-tempered and narcissistic, vicious and uncaring, even towards their own champions. The mortal concerns of the polis are no less dangerous than the legendary monsters who walk the world. Despite the almost certainty of death, all true Greeks wish to be champions, heroes whose epic adventures will be retold through history. Age of Legends by James Foster and Mark Foster A complete setting for the 6D6 RPG. Back our Kickstarter now and begin making legends.